Hi, my name is Manny Medina with Marine Max in Miami. Thank you very much for visiting our website. Today I want to introduce you to our new tray, beautiful, beautiful, excellent conditions, 2018 510 Sea Ray Sand Dancer. It's uh, actually the last year Sea Ray built yachts and it is a, a pride to be owned and have. Notice the very large hydraulic swing platform and its peak cover. There is a ladder that goes under that uh, area over there, and it already comes with chucks, so you can put a very nice inflatable or a very nice chest key, so you can enjoy the boat a lot more with your family. In this area, we have three very large storage compartments. All the hardware is the stainless steel. You have uh, electric power rear core with remote control, access to uh, another the alarm for the uh, hydraulic platform, and it also has a fresh water connections for when you spend a lot of time in a, in a dock, so you don't use the water from the whole from the water tank. Notice all the stainless steel hardware. Everything is true bolted, handrails everywhere. If you put a nice inflatable, so the steel can open here and walk around. One thing that you're going to find that you're going to be surprised, this boat is only a 51, but it's a big 51. It does have a tremendous amount of storage everywhere and access to everywhere, and all the storages are deep. When you have deep and large storage, you basically double the size of your storage. And when you go to the Bahamas, or you spend a long time, or you carry a lot of people on board, that's a plus. That's a big benefit. Nobody is crowded or anything like that with things you know, laying around. Uh, let me show you the inside. Please, come over. Okay, notice we are inside the cafe, which is also covered with solid paint. Uh, that is very elegant, it makes it very nice. Notice how large the seats are and how thick the cushions are. That's going to be your comfort level that you're going to have when you cruise on this boat. And under the cushion, they do have a tremendous amount of storage. They all hinge, so the cushions don't have to come loose and then sometimes they damage like that. We have a beautiful solid thick, real solid thick uh, table, more storage under the cushions. And by the way, the seats are in excellent condition and one of the reasons, it does have canvas covers that go on top of them. And they are not plastic, they are canvas, so the seats breathe and there is no uh, melt build up. Another nice feature, the boat comes with a retractable sand tap. This tap actually goes a little bit farther behind the seat. So in those big hot sunny days, everybody can be under cover and the comfort level will be nice. Hot and cold water shower, stainless steel frame the door for the transom, thick steps to get around the boat, they are safer. And then here we have this console. On this console, we come with a barbecue that is being hardly used. There is more storage. That's the cover for the barbecue if you want to heat up the uh, food more. And there is a refrigerator. Uh, ice maker, I'm sorry. All the stainless steel door, the stainless steel frame, stainless steel hardware. And another very nice feature that it was an option. It has the upgraded stereo system. That means there are more amplifiers and more subwoofers. And the frame of the door is made out of solid stainless steel that makes it very steady, no aluminum to scratch up and no raw metal to uh, uh, corrode once the paint goes out. Let me show you the inside. Okay, here we are inside the main salon. Notice that the window, the glass on the windows is tinted. Uh, that makes the air conditioning more efficient and a little bit easier on your eyes. Notice the beautiful dressing of the vinyls, fiberglass on the ceiling, very thick cushions on the uh, very soft vinyl. There is a dining table or serving table with beautiful finish on the wood. And notice how you can fold it. It becomes smaller. It has a handrail, very thick, all solid wood, very nicely finished. There is also more storage under the seats, under the cushions, and this will make it to another double sleeper. 
in this area, we have a serving counter, very heavy duty, by the way. This is real marble. I can tell you how heavy this is, as a garbage should, because the stem is still seen under the counter, very heavy. Got to be careful with this. Another counter stop, beautiful uh, curtains. These windows open so you can get nice fresh ventilation when the weather is nice. Otherwise, you just close them. Very easy, nice hardware. And it will give you privacy. Nice TV, air conditioning vents, outlets. In case you want to do your pina coladas, you can connect a blender. Here we have a very large refrigerator. And you also have access to the DVD player for this unit. By the way, the door also has a satellite television antenna, so when you are in the Bahamas, you can miss your game. More storage, but not only storage. That's your garbage container. You don't have to put your hand in there and pull it out. But this is another serving counter that is like seen now. I wish you could appreciate the finish inside. It's as good as a quality as the finish outside. The kind of material that they use. The stainless steel handles. They are very nicely finished and they have wrap it around. The pilot seat is a double pilot seat. It has uh, armrest on the pilot side and it has two bolsters. Two people can sit in here very comfortable. Lift that bolster, now you can lean against it so you don't get too tired sitting down. The boat is powered with twin 600 horsepower Cummins engines and they come with the uh, SUS package, which is dual props per engine and everything is electronic and you can do what we call joystick docking right here on this control. It's like having bow thrusters all around the boat. You want one part of the boat to move each way, you will do it with this. A little bit of practice and you are done. This is another very nice feature that is worth mentioning. It has manual windows. That means you can bring the sunlight inside, or you can close it. There is a reflecting material on the outside, so it doesn't come in, and it has four of them. And on this area, this is an electric sunroof. It will actually open up and bring the inside, the outside inside the boat. Uh, the dashboard. Again, we got the joystick piloting. The autopilot is here. It does have a feature called the uh, dynamic position. That means that if you want the boat to stay put in one place, facing one place, facing one way only, you press that switch and the GPS is gonna tell the autopilot to leave you there. And you wanna hear the engines running. And the idea, for example, if you approach a marina and you forgot to set your lights and your fenders, you can wait outside press that and the current is not going to take you, you know, it's, there will be no danger. So you can save your lines, come back. Other people use it to throw the anchor. You know, they, they say, I want the anchor to be here. When I drift, I want to stand 60, 70 feet behind. So they drop the line here and they just let the wind with you. Nice feature, very convenient. Dual ray marines, they are hybrid. That means you can use the uh, hand controls or you can use your fingers. Uh, radar, GPS, and this is the uh, vitals for the engine. That means the engines are also connected here. But you also have gauges, regular needle gauges. Boat only has 159 hours. It's, we took it on trade, it's being serviced by Marine Max. Um, before we deliver the boat, we made sure that the boat has a new bottle paint, new wax, and new oils and filters on the systems. Uh, nice gauges, they all light up at night time. When you press your running office like that, there is a dimmer. Stereo remote control, stainless steel drink holders. I'm sorry, I got no nails. But this is a small storage compartment. The steering wheel is adjustable. This has uh, electronic controls. That means that when you move, these controls just send electrical signals instead of putting cables. It's more reliable, it's a little bit nicer and softer to your fingers, and you can feel much better what you are doing. Uh, what else can I tell you? Beautiful, beautiful, a lot of visibility. Notice how we stand very high. The deck is very low, so, and there are cushions up front. The railing is also very high, and in the middle it has what we call a lifeline, a 
and then rails is safer for the kids. Very, very safe. So they can run around and you are not afraid that they're gonna sleep under the rail. Adjustable seating wheel, I think I mentioned that. 12 volt outlets, USB outlets, emergency shutoffs. All these systems are right here. Very easy to control. Very nice boat to have. It also has a foot rest here. In case you're sitting down and you want to put your legs up. The seat is also adjustable back and forth. Uh, let me show you the downstairs. Very impressive. But before we go down, notice how it has this very open area. There is a storage here. In case you are, you need a storage for the, your binoculars or your charts, if you still use charts. All beautiful plastic, one piece stainless steel hinges. A lot of lining everywhere. Now, if you look down there before we go out, notice how open is this area. When you are down below, you don't feel you are enclosed in a cabin. It, it doesn't feel like being inside a shoe. It's very open and it's gonna make you feel very comfortable. Come on down. Okay, here we are. Notice how it has these beautiful wooden steps and they are made out of solid wood. This is all one piece per side railing. It's all uh, very well secured with another metal plate. But notice how it has these rubber inserts. That makes the, uh, the traffic on the steps very, very safe. You know, usually sometimes you don't see what you're doing. Uh, you are with your shoes, you know, your shoes are not, uh, you know, they, they are not uh, rough or, or with socks. You know, if you don't have those rubber uh, inserts in there, you just slow down. Come on down, let me show you something. This is the seating area. Notice how open this is. There is no way that you're gonna feel enclosed. Now you have two salons, basically. Beautiful seating area, and it also makes into a double bed. These are the cushions to do that. Beautiful finish everywhere. It does have a mirror, so you don't feel more enclosed. It will reflect more light. When I was telling you about the storage compartments, There's never enough storage in the boat, by the way. But sometimes when you got too much, it's no good. But notice how deep they are. Notice how the doors stay up so you can use two hands to work whatever you want to eat and out of it. Beautiful wooden finish. And by the way, uh, artificial wood for my gun. There are screws that will give you access to, to, to accessories and wiring and whatever you, you have behind here. The boat has a lot of systems and wiring everywhere. There are boats that they don't have that, and you have to disassemble the whole thing and will never be the same as when it's done at the factory. But notice how large they are. So, like I was telling you, you will always have plenty of storage. Everybody has a storage, but you know, the best boats are the ones that the storage is deep, it's tall, and you can get to it. Even if you are standing on the sea, you can get to it. The stem is still holding, the system is still hardware. They latch. Every door inside the boat latches. Uh, this is the one that makes it to a double bed. It has this optional ottoman. Very nice. This ottoman, you can store your magazines or things that are not heavy because you gotta move them around. Notice the beautiful flooring and also the condition of it. The boat has not been scratched. It's been a dull bone. Uh, before I show you the garbage, let me show you here. I have a very nice TV, all facing the salon already. And by the way, these blinds, they are made out of wood. It does have a ventilation, and when you lift this up, there is a lot of natural light coming in. So here we go, notice the finish. There is a Bose stereo system for the salon. It's actually located right there. It also has a remote control, one remote control for everything inside the boat. That's a DVD player for this area. And it has more storage, no? Access panel for the technicians. Notice the handrails. Beautiful boat, it's in very nice condition. Everything shines like new, it smells very nice. In our cabin, microwave is also an oven convection. You can cook uh, with the microwave, you can brown it with the oven. It does have a refrigerator, a freezer, all the stainless steel doors, stainless steel frames. Very nice, very good condition. Again, for marble. Every door has a 
a latch, by the way. Uh, this is the cover for the big sink, which is also a stainless steel under the counter. The uh, garbage, which you guys don't see them now. There is more storage for another plastic accessory. More storage. Actually, you can store things at the corner. It's dark, but yes, they do. They use the corner down there. Very large doors. And then these drawers, they are very deep. And that's because the furniture is big. And they have a self latching device, but you still want to put down the latch everything. The three of them are the same size. And the one down below is always a little bit deeper. Double burner, uh, more storage on top also. Notice it has the rails, so things don't fall. You can put your spices in there. More storage, very deep, very large. Three of them. Doors stay up, so you can put two hands. GFI protectors. Air conditioning, all the outlets are high, so they bring the heat out. It's more efficient when the AC goes up because the heat is up. And before we go to the uh, stay rooms, this is the main electrical panel on the boat. And I think we see Ray for a long time. They always like to keep simple. They, they want to keep it simple. And I can tell you, this is almost the same as a 1980-85 boat. You know, the switches have breakers. Uh, everything is lighted, it has big letters, so you can see what you're reading without getting your glasses of a big flashlight. Very nice, everything is right here. Everything that the owner is gonna need is right here. Breakers or breakers, they are in the engine room because everything is double protected. We do have the track vision system here. That's the processor, the rear stereo, the TV control, you can put your telephone here, 12 volt system and then the 241 20 volt system. All behind the door, outlets everywhere, beautiful accent lights. Let me show you the forward stay room. Okay, here we are on the bow, the forward stay room. Notice how the bed is slanted. It actually went forward and it went up and that will give you more room. So if you are not sleeping now, you got more room to get around the bow, clean things up maybe get dressed in the morning. And this is all handled by a remote control. So at night time, when you're gonna sleep, you put it down and the bed slides up to here. That back rest goes down. Now you have a big bed. Uh, it's more than six feet long, by the way. There are big drawers, there is a big drawer underneath. It's never enough storage in a boat. A TV. Uh, that's your DVD for this TV and more storage, again, deep, high. He also has the wooden blinds. Beautiful finish. I love the material they were using last. On this side, we have a large closet. Notice that the cedar liner. The cedar is not gonna let you build uh, humidity and smells in it. And notice that it has accessory panel. Those accessory panels, there is one here, for example, to get to the electrical switches over there. That one goes to more electrical system. This one goes, so you don't have to break or cut anything after the boat is being built. Beautiful counters everywhere. They use every little piece of corner. Very nice, the cushion. You never feel the bottom of the cushion. And then here, we have access to a big bathroom. This bathroom is going to service the outside, is going to service the lower salon, and this bedroom. Notice again, marble the counters, European sinks, a lot of storage underneath. It's never enough, but this is large. More storage under the mirrors, behind the mirror, very deep. Air conditioning outlet, Venetian blinds, that porthole opens so you can get fresh air. This is your vacuum toilet system. And notice the flooring, it's actually ceramic. It's very difficult to do ceramic in a boat that is a planing hole and that is this size. Because boats, they flex. But if the construction of the boat is strong, 
there will be no flexibility in the, in the bottom of the boat. Therefore, the tiles on the on in, on the floor they will not come. Uh, this boat has been used 160 hours. I can tell you, I have seen boats 15, 18 years old, same original tile. They last for a long time because sea rays they have a very solid uh, bottom. Let me show you something. This is important. Notice, I'm a big guy. This is very thick, by the way, thicker than my house. Beautiful metal frame. Very beautiful. And don't leave yet. In case somebody is sleeping on the floor or the stain, we'll lock this door, and then they can use this other door. And share with the salon or the upstairs. Let me show you the master. Okay. We are going to visit the main stable. Notice the beautiful white door. That means that you can go in with a little basket, clothing or whatever. Sliding door, packet door. First thing we're gonna see, we're gonna see this counter. So somebody can use the bathroom. Somebody else can be outside, they, they can share. So there will be no lines to do things. Beautiful, beautiful storage behind the mirrors, more storage under the counter. So this is comfortable. Again, beautiful material, beautiful paneling everywhere. Here, we have a washer and dryer. And the idea, if you're gonna spend three, four nights in the Bahamas and hopefully two weeks, now you don't have to go to the laundry outside. You can do your uh, wash, uh, your laundry, at night time whenever you want. It's very comfortable, especially in a boat that you don't carry heavy clothes. So this is not for heavy loads, but it works well. Notice how wide it is to get around here, so it's very easy to make the bed. It has a very nice nightstand, a lot of storage, light switches, outlets, silver closets. Uh, it does have another boss receiver. So you can have both music here, and you also have the DVD for the TV. It's a beautiful, beautiful finish. The cinder liner is very nice. Here we are. We got more accent lights, only throw pillows. Get around the boat very easy. Nice mirror, so you feel, you don't feel claustrophobic. Another closet, wow. Her his and hers are the same size. That's nice. Another counter, more bags, and more storage under the bed. So if you have suitcases, uh, there is storage under the bed. You can put suitcases. Beautiful Bose uh, sound bar on top of the TV. So it must be magnificent here. A very nice TV. Beautiful finish. The fit and finish. Typical silver. Very nicely done. Here we are inside the engine room. Right now, the, my friend is pointing to the starboard side of the boat. Notice that PVC piping is what we call a drainage water collector. All the air conditioning, the sinks, everything is collected into one pipe and it goes out in one hole. That eliminates noises outside the boat with too many drains and then dirt outside the boat from the drains. Um, right behind, that plastic container with the motor on top, that is the reel for the power cord. So it is an electric power cord. That black box is the double breaker for the 220 volt system. So it's double protection everywhere. That transformer down below, when you are at the end of the dock and you don't get all the power because all the boats uh, going into the uh, marina, you know, let's say that you are at the end of the dock and there are 20 boats before you get there, Sometimes they drain a lot more power and you don't get enough of it. That transformer is gonna give you a boost on your power so everything will work fine. Compressor for the air conditioning. When the compressors are in the engine room, that makes the cabin very quiet because they are noisy no matter what. These are the batteries for the starboard side, starboard engine and accessories. That is the fuel filter for the starboard engine. That little metal motor over there is the compressor for the air horn. That uh, black container with gauge, that's the water pressure collector, so you always got a nice flow of water into the fresh water system. Built-in fire extinguisher system with a shutdown for the engines and the generator and the blower. 
computer for the mechanics for the engine, uh, main, main bugs, all the main power on this 12, uh, 24 volt system goes in there. And notice the fuel tanks, they are made out of metal, notice a lot of reinforcement, and they have real brass valves on top of it for the intake and the drainage back in there. Notice how all the electrical systems runs inside hoses, those white, the black hoses. Everything runs inside that truck so there are no wires hanging everywhere. Then right here, this is an oil changing system because you got about eight, nine gallons of oil per engine so you don't have to drain it by hand pump. Now this is all electric. You can actually drain and refill. That right there is the air conditioning, uh, seawater filter, bilge pumps down below for the emergency systems. This is the breaker of breakers. Uh, it's a lot to explain, but these breakers protect systems that you don't use a lot, that they are supposed to be working by themselves, and systems that they got breakers. That right there is your battery charger. Now we're getting to the port side of the boat. The computer for the engine. And that little motor that says reversal, that is a fuel transfer pump. That means that you can put fuel from the starboard tank to port tank and vice versa. That keeps the boat level and give you a safety uh, that you are not going to run out of fuel in one tank. The smaller fuel filter for the generator, the big fuel filter for the uh, port engine, more water collectors, and these big packs that says Cummins, that's the generator in a sound shield that makes it very quiet. Then we keep going back. That's the vacuum system for the toilets, the muffler for the uh, generator, and that's the muffler for the engines when they are in idle, believe it or not. Once you start going fast, the exhaust and the noise goes through the bottom of the boat. This is the transmission, the SUS transmission. Uh, engines, that means they are very clean, no rust in it, very heavy duty. Under this floor, uh, by the way, there is a fresh water spigot, so it's easy to keep this clean. And under these hatches, you got access to bilge pumps and water intakes, valves, and things like that. But you know, right now it's nice and flat, so we can stand here. And that is this ladder. It's very beefy. And believe it or not, it's made to stay there. So for your regular checkups, but if the technician has to work around the engine and all that, they come out very easily. They go out, but there is so much room in here that you can keep this big ladder down below. It's, it's an easy engine room. Everything is typical C rate. You know, a good technician knows where everything is. Uh, nothing to be afraid of. Everything is nice, clean, gel coated, no uh, insulation all the way under. Very important. This is very expensive to do. Not everybody does it, but it's under the hatch also. Let's go to the bow of the bow. Okay, here we go. Let's go to the bow of the bow. Notice what I mentioned before, the thick steps, handrails, and there is always some place where you can hold down and make all of your maneuvers a little bit safer. So here we go. Notice that as soon as you get up, you find a handrail that goes all the way to the top. All the antenna starts here. And after the second step, the rail is high. And the boat comes with these shades. That makes the inside cabin more efficient for the air conditioning and a little bit more protection. Typical C ray, nice uh, cushions and they have backrests. They actually go up and they adjust. There is another curtain for that forward windshield. There is a hand opening besides the uh, big hatch that opens on top. There is a hand opening right there, so you can get just a little bit enough ventilation if you wanted to when the boat is moving. High rails, flat surface. Flat surfaces are nice because they are very useful. Otherwise, you're walking around the boat or you're washing it with soap and water, and when they are round, it's like standing on a boat. It's not safe. Easy access to the windlass, the access to the chain. There is a remote control right here. There is a remote control on the dash. Remote control is far light. Access hatch, escape hatch, rails, and they got drink holders. Very, very convenient boat. So 
this is our day on this boat. I hope you enjoy it. If uh, anything we can do for you, please look for me. I can assist you. My name is Manny Medina. My cell number is 305-775-1310. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. God bless.